Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Cruz, your principal. I'm going to be taking you through the safety procedures here at Stafford. As I take you through all the procedures from arrival to dismissal in the hallways, please pay attention because we are going to be Stafford strong by being safe, respectful, and responsible in following our safety procedures here at Stafford. Here at Stafford, we follow the three W's. That means to wear our masks, wash hands, and watch our distance. What does this look like here at Stafford? So let's start first with wearing a mask. All students upon entering will have a mask check to ensure that we are wearing our mask. This is going over our nose, covers our face, and we keep this on at all times here at the campus. We also have washing of hands. Throughout the day, your teacher will allow you to have times in which you're washing your hands before and after you eat, or maybe in transitions. Remember that as you're washing your hands, we're doing them thoroughly, washing 20 seconds in between our fingers, behind our hands, all the way up to part of our arm, and we are um, ensuring that our hands are fully sanitized. Maybe singing the alphabets or counting to 20, uh, whatever works for you, but we are doing 20 seconds of washing with soap and water. Lastly, we're also watching our distance. As you see, we're gonna talk about dots that you will see in the hallways as well as outside, that we are keeping our social distancing in the hallways, in the classrooms, we also have spacing in between our seats, um, and in the cafeteria as well. So as we're walking, we're keeping our distance behind, um, keeping our safe distancing, as well as inside the classrooms and lunchrooms, we're staying in our assigned area. We're not roaming around the classroom or around the cafeteria because then, then we are not following our social distancing. So at arrival, your parents will drop you off here at the designated locations. We have here in the front entrance, this will be first, second, and third grade. Over by the cafeteria, you will see that this will be the drop-off location for kinder, fourth and fifth. Don't forget that every Monday and Wednesday, your parents will need to complete the doctor out. We will be coming around with the QR code, but you can also download the app and check you in every Monday and Wednesday. Boys and girls, when your parents drop you off, you will find where your classroom line is. You'll see on the floor, there are dots for you to line up at to ensure that we keep our social distancing. Don't forget, our teachers don't come till 7.30. So if it's a cold day or a raining day, make sure you let your parents know that our, our teachers will not pick us up till 7.30. As the teachers come, we will line up. You see that we have dots going into the campus where we will wait for us to do our hand sanitizer and take our temperature. Make sure that we are still keeping our social distancing and then we will get our breakfast. Ladies will give us our breakfast. And then you'll see that we will come back and continue to line up on the dots to keep our social distancing. Each grade level has their own designated restrooms. If you have a restroom in your classroom, you will use that one. Uh, we also have restrooms that grade levels join. Now remember that our restroom procedures are, if there is no one inside using the stall, then you may go in. If not, you will wait outside on the dot until someone has come out, and then you may proceed to go in. Remember that inside the hallways, we're gonna to continue to keep our social distancing by following the signage on the floors um, when we are lining up, as well as when we're walking make sure that we keep a good pacing so that way we are staying at our six feet social distancing. You'll also see in the hallways, we have hand sanitizers uh, such as this one that you can use either these or the ones inside your classroom so that we're continuing to keep our safe practices and being healthy and um, clean. As we discussed earlier, we have two separate entrances. In the front entrance, this one was for our grades first, second, and third. And so we have a hallway that you will see by the front entrance. 
that is just designated for our first, second, and third grade uh, students that would go up the hall. On the other side by the cafeteria, this would be our entrance for kinder, fourth, and fifth. Again, keeping uh, our practices of staying on the one side of the, uh, of the campus will limit our cross-contamination. Upon dismissal, you will continue to walk down your designated hallway, keeping your social distancing as you make your way out through the entrance. Again, we are following the dots on the floor to keep our social distancing as we're waiting to be picked up. A teacher will escort you to your car so that way we ensure that we are keeping safe. Um, teachers, as we are seeing students' cars come, we are calling for your name. Boys and girls and teachers, please listen for your name uh, to be called so that way you can start to make your way to your pickup um, vehicle and that keeps our procedures flowing um, at a steady pace. So when you have gym that we have here or you're also going to the lunch, depending on what side of the building, you will be using this hallway and the outside corridor to make your transitions to and from the gym or to the lunch area. Please remember to keep the social distancing. We are staying in a line as we go outside and then we are utilizing hand sanitizer both when we're leaving and when we're coming in to keep our safe practices. So during lunchtime, at either entrance, whether through the outside or through the other doors uh, for our K, fourth and fifth, you will see that there's a hand sanitizer. If you did not hand sanitize with your class, please make sure that you grab some upon walking in. You will then follow the social distancing steps, keeping your distance as we're waiting in line to go and pick up your food. We have designated locations for you to line up. Please see your teacher as to which line that you should be going into. And then boys and girls, a big change is that we now have assigned seating during lunch. Your teachers have determined what seat that you will sit on. This will help us ensure that should we need to um, monitor students that may have tested positive, we know which students they have been around. So this again is keeping with our safe procedures. Um, I know that you wanna choose who you wanna sit around, however, Safety comes first, being Stafford strong, we're talking about being safe. So I ask that you be respectful for all the people that are helping inside the lunch area. They have a seating chart that will let them know exactly which seat that you are to sit on. Even if a student is absent, you just keep that seat empty and you remain in your assigned seating. As we are eating, you'll see that the chairs are labeled, so we know which chairs that you would be sitting at. Eat your food. When you are done eating, and if you want to talk with your friends, I ask that you put your mask back on, and so we're not keeping a long period of time without our mask, um, and we're keeping each other safe. I also want to remind you that while you are sitting here in the cafeteria, you are to remain seated facing forward. You may talk to your neighbors off to the side, but we should not see students hanging around, leaning back, turning around and talking to the people behind us because this is not helping us keep our safety procedures in place. Also, when it's time to pick up, you will see that the people here inside the um, cafeteria will use a procedure called one, two, three. Number one means get ready. Pick up all your lunch materials, put them onto your tray so that they are ready to be picked up. Number two, it means stand up, push in your chair, and be ready, remaining at your spot until they tell you to go. Then the person will say three. This means move. Then you will stay in your social distancing, walk to your line, and wait for your teacher as y'all begin to proceed back to your classroom. All right, boys and girls. So I'm out here where you may see that you would be having recess. I wanna remind you on some of our safety procedures. So reminder that as we are coming out, that we use hand sanitizer before coming out. 
And then while we are outside, we are keeping our social distancing to the best of our ability. So it doesn't mean that you may not pass by somebody. However, we don't want to see students just huddled around each other and not keeping our social distancing practices in place. We're also keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. Again, keeping our safe practices um, even when we are outside at recess.